Hello Facebook Live, I'm JD from Free Radio. I've been hosting these open days for over 10 years now and I thought it's about time that I actually have a look around the university. Now when you arrive to Coventry University Open Day, you'll arrive here outside the hub. Whether that's you park your car in one of the university car parks and get escorted here, or you arrive at the train station and get one of our shuttles to the hub, it all starts here. You'll be greeted by our lovely team, a mixture of the university and free radio team. Say hello, morning, hello. morning, morning. Okay. morning. They're waiting for the next influx of people. Then you'll come to the information fair. Now follow me. So the information fair is a must stop. It's full of everything you need to know. I mean, if you only have time to go to one place today, it's the information fair. Everything you need to know about the university is in here. Everything from sports, UCAS, parents advice, because obviously you know, we need to keep the parents happy, right? Uh, finance, uh, global opportunities. Oh, and not forgetting, a good cup of coffee. Things are so different from when I was a student. They have their own coffee shops, supermarket, GPs. They even have guide dogs joining us today as well. So, follow me through the doors and I'll show you what you will experience if you come to an open day. Off you go. So the first thing you're going to see when you come into the information fair is our welcome desk and our beautiful, very handsome and good looking student ambassadors. If you ever get lost while touring the university, find one of our guys in green and they'll be happy to help. So tell us all about the information fair, what's in here Mark? Well, morning gents, morning Facebook. Uh, in here we've got the welcome desk that sort of funnels people off to different areas depending on what they want to go to. We've got the parents' advice desk over here, and that's for parents to ask their questions, whereas the students can ask us. And then down the end there, we've got campus tours going on, so you can walk around the campus, see the different facilities, get a tour of the library by the librarians, that kind of thing. Mark, you're a student here. I that's am why you're an ambassador. How long have you been at Coventry University? This will be my technical fourth year, my third year in Coventry. Right, OK. So why did you pick Coventry University? I came to an open day, and I liked the city, essentially. Um, I like the feel of it, I liked how they looked after students, I like the facilities obviously, I'm an engineering student so the ECB was quite a draw for me, so yeah, that's why I picked. And what's your plan now? So you say that you're in your fourth year but third year in Coventry, what next for Mark? So I'm doing my final year project at the minute, um, when I finish that, uh, well as I'm finishing that, I'm now applying for jobs in the aerospace sector and the automotive sector as well, I'm looking to get in onto either a graduate scheme or a graduate job and then we'll see where life takes me from there. And you're an ambassador today, I am. lots of you around the campus, what there is are. your job ultimately today? Helping people, talking to people, answering questions that they might have that staff might not be able to answer about student life essentially discussing how Coventry is as a city from our perspective rather than the staff perspective. There you go, the words of Mark, an actual student here. Right, follow me. Thank you, Mark. Not a problem at all. Yeah. Now, one of the desks um, in the information fair is the parents' advice desk, and this is the lovely Gaynor. Hello there. She's here to convince all parents to make sure their little ones, well, they're not so little when they yeah, get here, are they, incredible. to come to Coventry University. So, I'm a parent. With my teenager who's thinking about coming to, coming to the university, what happens here again now? You can ask me anything about We've admissions, got, uh, about what's happening around here today. We've got things like tours, we've got finance advice, we've got accommodation, we've got the UCAS here. So between us, we'll be cancelled pretty much anything. Um, what is um, essentially the, most of the worry about uh, from a parent point of view? Uh, well, where they're going to live and where they're going to eat. So this is definitely the right place to ask. So mum and dad want to make sure that their young ones are going to live and eat yeah, properly. Yes, so as long as they eat properly, they're fine. Well, fine. Thank you, Gaynor. We'll okay. let you get on. Okay. Right. Actually, Gaynor makes a valid point. We manage the property. We signpost them to other resources around the university. We try to answer all their questions. <laughs> We try to be lovely and helpful to them at all times. You don't try, you are. Oh, well, you are. Of course, I'm you are. Modest. Now, I was just saying to everybody watching on Facebook at the moment, I feel that when you go into university, actually, accommodation is one of the most important factors about choosing the right place. Because you want to know you've got a nice bed, you've got comfortable surroundings. Am I right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think most people come with that intention and we hope that we provide that for them. But of course, you can never factor for, you know, how they're going to settle, but we try to help them through that because there is always a settling in period. 
Now things are really exciting at Coventry University as far as accommodation is concerned. Yeah. Do you want to, want to tell us about what's coming here? Yes, we've got two lovely new huge properties that are coming on board. Bishopsgate, which is going to have 725 rooms. And we're also going to have Godiva Place, which again is going to have 772 new rooms. See, things are so different from when we were students. Yeah. You know, do you remember when we had shared bathrooms, all we stuff like that? We still do that. But, but look at this. I mean, yeah, Every, it's very hotel-like. Hotel it's very hotel-like, yeah. Now, if anybody's watching at the moment or thinking about coming to university and the open day, the next one, they, they can't make for whatever reason, but they want to know more about accommodation. They can contact us at FutureLets and we will do our best to accommodate them. If they want to see something in the portfolio that's not advertised on an open day, we will do our best. One of the residence officers, assistant residence officers, whoever is available, we will try and take them to show them that property. And if people are coming to an open day, what's the best way to see the accommodation? Book themselves onto our tours, talk to us. Um, yeah, we can, we can also walk them over to places. We've got ambassadors on, we've got lots of staff members on who can take them and show them the properties that they would like to look at. And how does it work at Coventry? I know it's different from university to university, but how does it work at Coventry? So I'm thinking of coming to university here. Yeah. Do you look after me in my first year? It depends if you're in my hall. Right. I mean, it, it, that, that's the thing, you see. I mean, we've got a number of halls, and there's a number of residence offices in each hall. So it, it just depends which one you've chosen and, right. and who you get. But right. yes, I'm going to look after you as much as I can. All right, thank you very much. All right, no problem. There you go, that's accommodation sorted. Another important factor about university is its students' union. Is there good places to drink and party? Essentially, that's not all that the students' union do. <laughs> Here's the guys from the Students Union. Do you want to introduce okay. yourself, your name and what you do? Hi, my name's Rory, study civil engineering, do a master's. Um... Hi, I'm Millie and I do psychology and we're part of the events team and um, with the SU. Now, I believe, and I'm a bit biased because I have a lot of involvement in Commerce University, Commerce University Students Union is probably one of the best, right? <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, you've got a chance now to sell it to Facebook Live. Why is the Students Union here so good? Well, we've got something for everyone, so we've got, um, as you said, you know, like clubs and big events, like our freshers week was huge, we had nights out every night, we've also got things, students who maybe don't want to go and have a drink, we had a, a meeting, an eat, I think it was called, um, we're showing, for example, next week Halloween, we're showing the new film It, um, in the cinema, um, so we've literally got something for everyone. And we've got Ghost Walks as well for Halloween, which is just going to be absolutely amazing. You're really good at putting on events for everyone, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and we're here in the hall. Now, I remember when the Students' Union was uh, just a small building further back here. Just tell us about the Student Union building that you've got, and, because this is essentially where the Union's based, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so we've got um, upstairs is the Student Union reception area, so that's where they sort everything out for you, from selling tickets to events, selling memberships for the sports and societies, and um, just general helpful information. Um, we've got a phone call upstairs, we've got loads of library, like space, we've got computers, we've got a silent zone, we've got a bit of a, a loud zone down here. And they've got their own bar and, like you yeah, say, cinema here yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. It's well, it's it's really good. It's cheap. 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 Yeah, cheap. Yeah, cheap beer. Well. It's <laughs> probably like the best students. Yeah, and it turns into, the cinema actually turns into a club in the evening as well, so Okay, so well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So that's the Students' Union. Now, one good thing about this university, which I actually think is amazing, when coming to Coventry University, you get global opportunities. I'm going to hope to introduce you to a guy that knows more. So, global engagement is very important here at Coventry University. Now, this is the man that knows everything about that. Now, from what I've heard, when coming to Coventry University, you do get the opportunity as part of your course to go somewhere else in, in, in the world. So, do you want to tell us a bit more about that on Facebook? It's, it's, it's very important from a Coventry University perspective to have students going and doing something outside the UK. So this is the Centre for Global Engagement. We're based in the Student Centre in, in Coventry. And we've done, I think, so far it's 30,000 students have gone abroad to over 100 countries based on, on things that we've organised. 
so we've got um, 400 partner institutions so students can go and do a year studying abroad. Right. Could be Europe, Asia, Middle East, um, Australia, America. Depends on basically where the student wants to go. There's whole loads of opportunities. Very much we have a discussion that fits in with our courses. Yeah. The faculties obviously work. Our, our purpose as well is to support the faculties as to where the student wants to go. But students can also come to us and say, I'd like to do this. It could be work experience. Okay. So they might have a, a work experience opportunity they're interested in. It will help them both in cooperation with the faculties and it could be short short term experience as well. So it could be. Um, a week or going to a conference or something, again if it's an academic conference that you should go to as part of the course, we'll help support that and, and a lot of what we're doing is, is the things that the university needs, so the risk assessment type of things are support, but we do a lot of uh, support on um, uh, cultural awareness, global leadership, languages, loads of things, anything that a global student needs. So we've got to get this right, it's not just about coming to Coventry University and having a year out and having a jolly in America. Absolutely it's not. It's all part of the course. It's, part of, it? it's, it's, it's building. It's, it's building for employability because right. what, what you're looking for is is employers are interested in students who have done this sort of thing. If you think how many global employers there are around these type of things, that's what employers need. So right. the students need to have built up that experience. So it's part of their ongoing course. And does it depend on the kind of course that you're doing? where you can go are there restrictions so say if i'm looking to do a media course you know which is something i'd be interested in and i go right okay i want to do a media course where in the world can i take that year and go and do work experience board do i have to talk to you before i inquire about that course or go on that course can i see where my options are or is that down to the student and the course director or something it's a combination of all. Right, OK, right, OK. <laughs> so it, it very much depends. And the Dower guys can say, well, we have, we have these opportunities. I mean, clearly, we have a, a, a series of placements that we know work. Work, right. So we have, we have some relationships with some universities that we, our students go every year. And it works very nicely. So the students, so we might meet up with the students. There's a whole load of engagements that we do with students at, at the start of the year going out to see, see students on the different courses. So we then say, you might like this. Or the faculties might have their own. They'd say, well, we work well with this university. Can you support it? Yes. But there's nothing wrong with me as a student getting involved in a media course and going, do you know what? There's a really good radio station in America. Perfect. Can I go and... Absolutely. And, you, right. you got that, we'll support it. I like yes. that. There yes. you go. If anybody wants to know any more about the global opportunities, where can they find information? Centre for Global Engagement, the website. Um, there's a Facebook page for Centre for Global Engagement. Centre for Global Engagement is a place. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Thanks very much. Go. There we go. So, coming to Coventry University doesn't mean you stay in Coventry for the entire time. You can end up in Asia, America, anywhere in the world. Brings me nicely on to where you can study under the umbrella of Coventry University. It's not just about Coventry. Hello. Come and join me. Come and join me. Come round. Now, Coventry University Group are all about studying not just in Coventry. So tell us about what you do here and the Coventry University Group. Okay, um, I'm repping the Coventry University Group and um, it's a part of the Coventry University. It's different from Coventry University in the sense that um, we have flexible learning. We've got um, um, this part, like it's more affordable than the university. It's kind of like a way to um, ensure that people who actually like, can afford the uni would actually afford that. And we've also got like um, part-time learning, online learning. And the part-time learning, we've got like the weekend ones and we've got like the weekdays so you can actually choose. And for the undergraduate students, we've got like um, morning or afternoon classes. So it could actually shift around your work time. Wow. Your work and all so, that. So, uh, so, so for example, say if I was 30, 30 years old, and I'm already an established crib, but I want to learn more, and I want to get, and I didn't go to university, I want to get a degree now, I can work around doing my job exactly. and doing the course. Exactly. So, and we've also got um, accelerated learning, right. whereby instead of you to learn for three years, like a normal credit uni, you can learn for two years. And get it done quicker. Get, get it done quicker. And I noticed here the new multi-campus learning. Can you tell us about that? Because you've got Coventry, but you've also got London and Scarborough on there as well. Yeah, we've got um, Coventry, CU Coventry, CU London, CU Scarborough as well. And um, 
the good thing about it is we can actually like switch unis during the year. So like so you start here. You can start here, move to London, enjoy the London experience, then go like, oh, I want to go Scarborough and then go Scarborough as well. So it depends on whichever way you want to go. I love but that. But the best thing about this is yeah. we don't write exams. We don't, like, I really love the fact that we don't do exams at the end, but we get assessed, like, during the course we do. So, so it's not all about the end, end exam, yeah. it's as you do the course. As you do the course, you get assessed, so then you get to know your scores and everything as you do that. So there's always a chance if one term you're not doing so great, you know that I've got to get to this point next term in order to get a pass. Exactly. It's not all about that big final day and sitting in the exam hall. Exactly. Right, okay. So if we're going to Google you and find out a bit more, what do we need to search for online? I just googled um, see you Coventry see you Coventry dot com basically that's it. Thank you very much. Yeah. There we go. Now while you're here, you've got to be safe. Coventry is a very safe city, but you want to be extra safe. And I can imagine, as we heard earlier, there are going to be parents that worry that their their little ones are going to come to university. Now the guys that keep you safe are these guys. Oh yeah. He, he did know we were coming. He's acting all surprised, <laughs> like we were surprised him, but he knew he was coming. So you're from the protection services, essentially you're just all about keeping the students safe, right? We are. And, and you've got lots of stuff on, on show here. What have you got here and why do we need it? We've got panic alarms. Is this all free to students here? It's not, no. So, but they can come and get this stuff from you? Uh, a discount rate. Yeah. Right, okay. I, I mean, like, I noticed a lot of parents were picking these up thinking that they could get their weekly shopping from the protection services. What are these all about? They're just... Uh, Gadget really. So I'll show you one that works. So it's just got a. Ah, keep your valuables in. Basically, yeah. So when the, student, when the student comes to the university and they're feeling a bit vulnerable, you're the guys that they would chat to. We are, yeah. Excellent. We're, we're available 24-7. And how do the students get in touch with you? Are you based somewhere or is it on the phone or they've, online? They've got like information when they join. So they can contact us, all our details are there. Uh, we do regular patrols, um, there's a lot of staff everywhere basically that can give them the information. Everyone's aware of the protection service. So. And the protection service, essentially what areas do they cover? The whole of the campus. Or just all the campus, yeah, right, okay. Inside the buildings, everywhere basically. Right, and you're on call 24-7? Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. For so and things like that, the students come home from can't get into their rooms, so You're the guys. we look after everyone basically. So if they've had a big night at the SU, yeah. they've lost their room key, we deal they with give it. you a call. <laughs> I love that. Nice chatting to you. Okay. There you go. There so that's go. essentially it. It's the open day here at Coventry University. Uh, this is what it's all about today. Just getting a feel for the reasons why Coventry University is perfect for you. If you want to know more, check us out on Facebook, on Twitter or on the website. But thanks for joining us.